In today's episode, we're going to learn how to create templates in Final Cut Pro. What's up, guys? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This is Rabindra here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the new episodes of Final Cut Pro tutorials. There has been tremendous response for the first series of Final Cut Pro tutorials in my channel. I did get a lot of audience sponsorships and many more from those series. And many people said, we love those series. Please go and start it again. We would love to watch it and learn something new. So here I am with a new set of content with the new episodes for Final Cut Pro tutorials. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's time for you to go and subscribe because there are a lot of content which I have planned and it's going to be amazing. So without wasting much time, let's jump into today's tutorial. And before that, watch this intro and come back. I hope you enjoyed that particular intro. If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button. And without wasting much time, let's jump into today's episode. And in today's episode, we're going to learn how to create templates in Final Cut Pro and what are its uses as well. So before I go ahead with that, let me share you a quick story. I have been in this editing workflow or editing zone from almost three to four years from the time I started my YouTube journey and I have learned a lot. I'm still learning a lot of things. In this learning journey, I have come across various situations and flaws as well. And one of the flaws which I saw was if you want to access some of your favorite effects titles transitions, you will have to scroll through, find it across. And that is a tedious task. Now to reduce the task to speed up your editing workflow, templates is a good choice to use. So let's quickly go and understand how to create these templates in Final Cut Pro. And also let's understand the advantages of using it directly in our Final Cut Pro. So let's jump into the Final Cut Pro and try to understand that. All right, guys. So let's hop into the system and uh, let's open up the Final Cut Pro. All right, so the Final Cut Pro is open right now and here I have created a project called Templates and uh, there you go. So here we have a lot of uh, effects and transitions. I still have some more projects, but just for the overview here for this particular video, I've created this particular project template. I'll be showing a few of the effects which I normally use. Let me show you how easy it is for me to pick up any of the effects which I normally use on my regular videos. So let's get into it. So this is the project timeline and here I have my basic title. This basic title, I use it for my reels. Basically, uh, it would be helpful to add it as a copyright version or something like that. So I've added some glitch effects. So you'll be able to see an amazing thing there. I have a logo here as well. The first thing is logo. And um, you might have uh, seen in my videos that whenever I start a video, there would be a logo which would be pitching in and it would just fade out very, very smoothly. So that is what I've done here. I have the transition as well with the logo. So that is a plus point. You can see here now. There you go. That's smoothest, easiest way to pull this up. I don't have to go and find the logo. I don't have to go and find the transition as well. So it's pretty easy for me. Come to the templates project and just grab it and just paste it onto your uh, new project or a new video. So the next one which I have used it, uh, this is the one which I used it for one of my reels. Um, so this was for giving a tribute to Mysore. This reel really became uh, viral in Mysore. So I'm very thankful for you guys. Let's jump into the next one. So this is the animation which I use it at the end of my reels. So I have my logo, my uh, animation of uh, mentioning it to subscribe or follow and uh, my name and uh, the titles basically. So I have all the transitions, everything available inside that. So I've created a compound clip so that I'll be able to pick it up and just use it as it is. So I don't have to worry about creating the effects again, just aligning things again. Everything is already done. So you can just go ahead and pick it up and then boom, you're ready. So next thing is color code. This is very useful because, uh, you know, I normally shoot it in raw and uh, especially on S-Log3 and uh, Cinetone. So I always need to go and uh, edit. I always need to go and uh, do coloring for it. So um, yeah, I have already, I already have uh, the basic settings for it. So 
I can just drag and drop it and uh, boom you just have to fine tune it according to the lighting situations so this video is basically to tell you that hey you can go ahead and save your effects transitions titles in such a way that you can go ahead and easily access them easily view them as well you can just go ahead and play it see how it exactly works of course you can go ahead and scrub through each one of the effects but that is time consuming right so if you want to speed up your editing workflow then this is the best way to go ahead and use it uh, this is one of the best tip i could give you guys and uh, i hope you guys have learned something new today and I'm pretty sure it would be very useful for you guys uh, if it is useful for you guys in any way just do comment down below and let me know how you felt about this particular video i hope you enjoyed that particular video and i hope you learned something new today if you have learned something new if you have enjoyed it hit that like button and subscribe to this channel guys and uh, also do comment down below if you would like to know how to create object tracking and also use different elements on top of it thank you very much for watching and talk to you guys on the next video. Peace.